G'day guys, Dave from Talavu here. I'm standing out in the mill. Uh, today we're going to be getting through a 6.2 metre log. This bad boy weighs about two tonnes and absolutely maxed out all the machines that we've got here. This is on the big end down here, it sort of tapers off to around about 500 diameter, 500 millimetres for those of you that aren't on the metric system. Uh, you don't know with logs, you don't know what's going to come. So I'm hoping that it's pretty clear and we can get 20 to 30 boards out of it as well as a few battens. We did a test log off the other end and it came through really nicely. We got a lot of boards that'll go around the bottom of the house. So I'm hoping that this one will work out as well, but you never know until you start cutting. We're gonna be predominantly trying to cut the 150 boards at 6.2 meters long today. But when you're milling through a log, because it's round and you're trying to cut into squares and rectangles, you wind up getting a lot of off cuts. So I'm gonna break down the full yield that we get out of this log because none of that goes to waste. We chip a little bit, there's of the bark and the sapwood that you can't sort of use for anything or if there's short lengths that aren't gonna be any good. Uh, we also make a lot of 25 by 25 and 50 by 25 stakes out of it, use them around the garden. Pretty much trying to get as much as I can out of each log because otherwise it's just wasteful. We'll have that full breakdown at the end, but in the meantime, this is how we do it.
Milling's done for today and it turned out it was a pretty good log. So here we are at this, the drying racks here. So we've got everything sticking up, uh, everything sort of spaced out, allows it to dry. We've allowed for these boards to go on green, so it's not the end of the world if they're a bit, if they don't dry out properly, but this just sort of helps them settle down just before we put them on the, put them on the walls. So as you can see here, we had a pretty good day on the mill. Um, we've got 26 boards at six meters for the uh, 150 by 25s. And I think we've got eight battens at six meters as well. And then a couple of these shorter lengths. So all in all, that was a very good day. Standing in front of all the off cuts that we have. These are all the ones that we sort of cut in and around and uh, tried to get some decent boards and decent pieces of timber out of it. Right here, we've just got a single length 100 by 25, uh, a couple of 100 by 50s, some 50 by 50, uh, posts in here this bit's a bit of 70 by 25 right here we've got 50 by 25 that we'll use for stakes and a heap of 25 by 25s these come in really handy and then this little bit here this is all the waste we've got all the bits of bark and off cuts and everything else that we couldn't get to use so we're pretty good this time around and uh, didn't get a whole lot of waste out of this log which was really nice all right, time for the grand reveal. So the log that we put on the mill was approximately two ton, which uh, we're working on around about $200 a cube, or which is roughly a ton, a cubic meter. So the log was about $400 plus another $30 for delivery and the crane probably out of two. So let's say 500 bucks for the log. Uh, if you have your own farm or access to trees, obviously you don't have that cost. I've milled a lot of trees off this place. Uh, but these ones in particular we had to buy in. Uh, so in the 25 by 25s, we had 62 lineal meters, which I priced them at about a dollar, so that's $62. In the 150 by 25, which is what we were actually aiming for, we ended up with 176.1 lineal meters, and they're about $10 a lineal meter, so that's 1761. Uh, the 75 by 25 is the battens, uh, and we got 74.4 .4 lineal meters of those. So that comes out to 372. I priced them about $5. They're half the 150s, obviously. Uh, in the 100 by 50, they are four and a half lineal meters. Put them at around about $13, so that's 58.50. The 50 by 50, we had 3.6 lineal meters. Um, put that at $22.50. The 70 by 25, we had 12 meters of that, and that came out to $48. The 100 by 25 was 2.7 meters long, and that one came out to $16.20. And then the 50 by 25s, there's 25.8 lineal meters of that, and that was $51.6. So the total value, if you were going to buy this stuff, turned out to be $2,338.80. Now, take away the 500 for the for the log and the transport and everything else, and you're looking at just over $1,800 in uh, in timber gained from one log, and that took us four hours to mill. So it's definitely worthwhile if you've got um, a bit of quantity to do, and uh, it's saved me an awful lot of money on building this house. So. If you're interested in getting a Lucas mill or a sawmill of any type, I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.